Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Summer can be a fun time of year, but it also can be very expensive with travel and family activities. So we called on our resident financial guru and my friend in Soror, Janai Thornton. She has great tips on saving money this summer. Welcome back to the show. Happy to be back as always. Yes, yes, absolutely. So we've got to get through a lot. We, ha we have to uh, try to encourage people to save money this summer. So right. of course, many of us are traveling. So let's start with flights. Where can we find the best deals? I was actually looking for a couple of flights the other day and I was going to sites that I had not heard of. Well, actually I've used um, all the time, but right. I need yours. Okay. I was going to so actually call you. A couple <laughs> sites that a lot of people don't use. Um, one is called Airfare Watchdog. Okay. And the other one is Google Flights. Oh, really? So it's kind of like having your own personal travel agent because once you type in your destination and you type in the dates, it will send you emails when the prices begin to drop. Oh, wow. So you don't have to manage it. You don't have to keep going back over and over again. But try to stay away from flying on Fridays and Sundays. Those are your most expensive days. Okay. Yes. All right. I may have to take a quick flight out next Saturday. Okay. So I can go to Google Flights. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go to Google Flights. That's Use good. that one. Now, are there some things you can do if you can't play, pay for the plane ticket? Well, you know, who knew that there was actually layaway for plane Quit tickets? Quit playing. <laughs> there Every, is. This is great. There is. And it's called Air Affordable. Uh -huh. um, this is a legitimate site. Um, they have been featured in Forbes magazine. You can actually select your flight. You can upload the flight information to them. You pay a deposit. Then you will begin to make installment payments. Okay. After you make your last payment, they will send you your, your electronic ticket. You're going to pay a one-time booking fee. Mm -hmm. And there is no credit check. So for people who don't want to use their credit cards, can't use their credit cards, you can actually buy your plane ticket on layaway, essentially. Really? Yes. I wonder, I don't, and I'm not sure if you know this information, how far in advance it has to be purchased before the actual flight date. Well, again, if you need to make a payment plan, yeah. you need to determine that. Yes, But okay. they will break your payment up into installments and essentially work it just like layaway. I love Isn't it. That That's so idea? good for people because sometimes when you go like check out, it's like $792. <laughs> $2. I was like, who got it? You know, so that's how I feel. Okay, anyway, yes. food is very, very expensive. How right. can we, you know, have a healthy eating habits or continue those healthy eating habits when we're on the road and, and save money? And, you know, this is the area where we will spend a ton of yes. extra money is in food. So what I suggest to people is when you're traveling, number one, um, ask your hotel if you can have breakfast included, even if it's not typical. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times they advertise that, but when you're making your reservation, you can definitely request that. Okay. Um, if you're driving, please feel free to pack and bring your own snacks. Do it all the time. I'm, I'm, I do it all the time, and I also always know where the grocery store is where I'm going, and I will always go there first. Mm -hmm. That helps me eat what I'm supposed to eat, but also help me stay on budget as well. Right. Um, look for restaurants where they have maybe kids get to eat free or have different discounts on certain days as well. And another thing that really helps before you leave, do your research to know what restaurants are around where you're staying. Yes. That will definitely help you stay on budget. Yes, absolutely. So a lot of people want to save money by t going on cruises. Yes. yes. Is this a good thing? Yeah. And no, it's a great thing. But what I tell people all the time is um, don't pick the destination first pick the price you can afford ah. and allow the price to determine where you go. Because ah. you know, you're falling in love. Oh, I have to go to the Bahamas. I have to go to the Cayman Islands. Um, maybe you should go where your budget allows you to go. Yes. That way you can stay on track. Okay. So here's a couple good websites for people. Vacations to go mm -hmm. and cruise compete. So if you're looking for last minute deals or you want to compare different prices, vacations to go, cruisecompete.com will help you find really good prices. That's good. This is such valuable information. So yeah. a lot of us want to either vacation, but some of us stay home for the entire summer. But you right. can vacation right in your hometown, in your city. So what are some fun activities we can do with the family right. that could save us money and just make us feel like we're, we're still away? I know your kids are home. Yes, I know y'all are. are entertaining them all summer long. You're like, what else are we going to do? Yes. That's why parents are ready for them to go back to school. <laughs> Not yet. Spending all this time <laughs> and money. But here are a couple really good um, free resources. One is called Kids Bowl Free. Okay. So go to kidsbowlfree.com. They have over 1,500 bowling alleys nationwide. Mm -hmm. If you register, you can get two free games per day. Okay. Per day. Okay. And so all you have to do is pay for the shoes, 
Um, but again, over 21 million children have participated in this already. Okay, good. So um, here's another one, kidsskatefree.com. Yes. Same thing, go online, put in your zip code, it will let you know what skating rinks participate. Mm -hmm. um, your kids can skate free, different rules based on ages. Some uh, require 12 and under, others require 10 and under, okay. but another great resource. Good, and last, please. Um, can't forget about the movies. Yes. So a couple good ones, Regal Sum Regal Summer Movies Express. They have a Dollar Kids movies on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Oh, that's fun. Okay, and one more, AMC Summer Movie Camp every Wednesday. Four dollars for the movie and a drink and oh, a snack. Okay. Every single Wednesday. So those are some good ones. And money saving tips, obviously, for amusement parks. Okay. Yes. Um, I was online, average, I was just online yesterday. Amusement park tickets are averaging about fifty-two dollars per, per ticket? ticket. Yes, oh my. and that's even for children. Okay. So what I suggest people do is you really want to use social media. Mm -hmm. um, you want to follow the parks on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook because they post a lot of sales there. Okay. Um, you also want to. You typically don't want to buy your tickets um, at the park. So you may want to buy them online. Sometimes your employers have deals. I see grocery stores have deals. Um, and please don't forget to use Groupon, Retail Me Not. I saw some really, really good coupons on Groupon and Retail Me Not for major themes parks, whitewater, rafting, a lot of the water parks, yeah. so you have a ton of different options. So before you go, check out those sites Good. first. So the Coke can may not work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I get $10 off. Oh, you off. remember that? Yes, old school. Oh, you Here remember Here go my Coke that? cans, let me get my discount. <laughs> Tonight, thank you so much. <laughs> I sure am, honey. I look good, though. But thank you so much. It's always good to see you get such valuable information for Thanks more for great me. tips like these. I mean, she has an amazing Instagram following, and everything that she does is just top notch. You can follow her at Janai Thornton.